Manchester nothing and Ravenna nothing at the end of the first half here at Logan Field in Coventry Township. And once again, showing the wonderful spontaneous support that is given to Pee Wee football, the Caballeros, a fine musical group from Coventry High School, will be entertaining here at halftime. And here to tell you all about it, from the sidelines, is Doc Williams. The Akron Labor Council, AFL-CIO, 60,000 strong with some 115 unions, brings you halftime here at this Pee Wee Championship game. The Executive Secretary of the Akron Labor Council is Mr. Leo E. Dugan. And we're listening today at halftime to the Caballeros. Caballeros are a group from the Coventry Marching Band. Now this band, as you know, is made up of some very fine musicians. They have several awards throughout the community. On the trumpet, we have Dave Heron, the Coventry High School. Dennis Allen is on the trumpet also. He attends Kent State University, but formerly played with the Coventry Band. On the drums from Coventry High is Mike McLean. And we have Chuck Lyons at the piano. Dave Niter, trombone from Coventry. And Mike Smith on the saxophone. This group's been together for about a year. And each of these boys hold a high rating for their particular instrument. Cavaleros represent the Portage Lakes Kiwanis and the Coventry High School Key Club. They're under the direction of Dave Troutman. They won the Ohio High School Key Club Talent Contest in Cleveland. And that advanced them on to Montreal, Canada, where they were judged one of the top three performances over representatives from every state in the Union, Canada and the Bahamas. The trophy was presented to the Caballeros by Miss Teenage America. You will note some similarity between the Caballeros and the type of music played by Herb Alpert. During their last visit here to Akron, Herb Alpert and the Checkmates were entertained by this group right here, the Caballeros. In fact, those who attended the All-American Soapbox Derby may remember that they led the Herb Albert courtesy car. Fellas, fellas, if you can hold up for just a minute, I want to tell the people something about you. I can give you swelled heads, but I would like the folks to know just who we have playing for us here. These are the Ohio Key Club State Champions, a championship which they won in Cleveland. They went to the international finals for Key Clubs in Montreal. And they placed third there. The trophy was presented to them by a very, very old The Akron lady, Labor Council, AFL-CIO, always sponsors halftime so activities at high school Alpert, championship so games, at the Bantam Games, and also for the championship the games of the Pee Wee. Now the Caballeros are going to play Never My Love. this number, I wonder if you could review the team that's playing in this Pee Wee Championship. Thank you, Doc. I didn't have an opportunity to see the first half, but I 
I understand it was quite good. This is the championship of the National League of Pee Wees. And we have the one team is from Manchester, and the other team is the Ravenna Rams. And both these ball clubs seem to be very, very well coached from what I've seen. There's a lot of enthusiasm, and each of them have not only a head coach, but they have at least six or seven other men who have donated their time to each one of these teams to make them the kind of football teams that you and mom and dad would re really be proud of. Doc, we even have the perennial dog running across the field. I noticed that, and perhaps you can uh, bring over one or two of these coaches that we might interview them. That was the Caballeros playing Never My Love. Now for their next selection. The title is Quiet Tear. these boys. On trumpet we have Dave Heron and Dennis Allen. On the drums is Mike McLean. We have Dave Neidert on the trombone, Mike Smith on the saxophone, and Chuck Lyons here. Now here is Al Wagner, and you have one of the gentlemen here. Let's find out more about the Pee Wees, Al. Thank you, Doc. Uh, ladies and gentlemen here to my right now you're still watching the band playing but we have a fella here by the name of Bill Thompson who is the coach of the Ravenna Rams Bill how's it look today it's a pretty tough ball game Al uh, both teams are tough really but I understand the score is nothing to nothing and uh, Bill tell us a little something quickly about your uh, ball club can you what the what kind of a record you have so far this season well so far we're undefeated and we won a regular season championship Al and we beat Manchester 14 to 6 for the regular season thing, but I don't know about today. Uh, I think we're going to give them a second half, though. All right, let me ask you, what is their record so far this season? Do you happen to know, Bill? I think offhand they've lost uh, one and tied two. One and tied two. I believe. I'm not real sure of that, Bill. All right, Bill, how many hours would you say you and uh, the other fine gentlemen that you have assisting your uh, ball club, how many hours a week would you say you devote to, uh, to the Pee Wees? I'm not sure how many I do, Al. My wife would probably answer that better than I could. She says many. <laughs> well, I think, you know, Bill, we've known each other for quite a number of years, and I think you're probably like a lot of us. It's that personal interest. You really don't count it up. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think that uh, we should sometime or another, if you ever have the opportunity of meeting Bill Thompson or any of these other men who take part in this Pee Wee program, you should really walk up to them, say thank you, shake their hand, and because we're very, very proud to have men like yourself, Bill. Now, just one other final thing before we close. Bill, what kind of a second half do you expect? Well, I think they're going to try to throw the ball a little more. I hope we're ready for it. 
All right, Bill, the best of luck to you, and uh, let's hope the better team wins the second half. Okay? I'll go along with that, Al. Thank, thank you, you very Bill. much, Al. Th Thank you for coming over, Bill. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, now back to Doc Williams. Al, uh, just for a moment here, I think we must remind the folks that uh, we're certainly enjoying fine weather at the playing here this afternoon of this championship game at Logan Field. However, when it is replayed, neither you nor I can exactly predict the weather, but it is a beautiful day, right? Doc, it's absolutely gorgeous for a lovely fall afternoon, and I believe this game is going to re be replayed, Doc, on the 22nd of November, so this is going to be quite a long ways away from the time it's actually being taped, but guys sakes, we're very, very, very pleased to have such beautiful weather, such a large crowd, and we just wish everybody could have been here, Doc. Right you are, Al. And now the boys are ready to go again here. They they just did a little swinger from Seville. Now we're going into a little more of that Herb Albert type of music. invitation to everyone viewing this program to be sure to come out to the Akron River Bowl on Thanksgiving morning to see the championship high school game. We'd like to get as many people out for that game as possible and then everyone can go home and eat turkey. And I'm sure according to Mr. Childers here that they'll also be eating plenty of turkey from co-op. Mr. Childers, we've just told the folks to all try to come out to the rubber bowl on Thanksgiving morning, and then they can go right home and eat that turkey, but I thought that uh, you could also tell them they could get that at co-op. Yes, indeed, Doc. I'm sure that they knew when you were talking they are supposed to come to co-op after that turkey. But really, we would appreciate as many people as will come in and buy turkeys from us. We ordered many fine turkeys, and we're anxious to serve. You're listening to the Cavaleros, and their number is Let It Be Me. These boys have quite a record in the musical field. They won the Ohio High School Key Club Talent Contest up in Cleveland here some time ago, and then they advanced on to Montreal, Canada, and were judged one of the top three performances over representatives from this country and the Bahamas and Canada. And of course, they had the pleasure of having Miss Teenage America with them to present this. So they're quite a musical aggregation, styling themselves somewhat after the Herb Alpert type of music. Boy, they're terrific. They'll probably teach uh, Herb a thing or two a little while as they go along. Well, they did entertain Herb when he was in town for the All-American Soapbox Derby. I feel we got more applause on than any number. 
It was very fine. Now, uh, Al Wagner, I wonder before we get into the next part of the game, if you could introduce some of these fellows here with you. Thank you, Doc. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this gives me a rare opportunity. Being an official myself, I, I never really had... I never really have the opportunity of taking time out to say thanks to these fellas, but I'd like to inter introduce them to you. The first fellow is Mel Hayes, the referee. Mel, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good. Mel, I'm sure you know the, the names just as well as I do. I do of all the rest of the people here. Would you introduce the officials for me? Yes. First man is... This is Tony Verasquez, my umpire today. Next man, Walt Lover, head linesman. Hugh Young, field judge. And Lynn Rastock, uh, back judge. Very fine. How's the ball game going, Mel? Very good. We had a real good ball game going out here today. All right. What do you think will happen in the second half? Well, that's hard to say. You never know in one of these ball games what what might happen. All right. Now let's see who's umpiring. You are? Okay, Tony. What do you think? How are the boys doing? Pretty nice job. Oh, they're doing a good job. Wonderful job out there. No holding. No holding. Just that one. Have you called any penalties the first half? One. Just one. All right, Shorty, how you doing? Okay. Not too bad, Good. What position are you working in? Uh, headlining today. Headlining? You called any penalties yet? Uh, just, just the one. Just the uh, one? Just one offside there. One offside. Okay, you fellas are doing a fine job. Hugh? How are you doing? What are you doing today? Terrible. <laughs> what position? Field judge today. Your field judge? Okay, you got all the downfield coverage on passes, right? right? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Astock, how are you today? Hi, Al. All right, you, fine. You, you back judging? Yes, sir. I expect a lot more pass than Al this, uh, this second uh, half. These, uh, these boys look pretty well balanced, don't they? They sure do. I, I've had them before this year, and they're a very good passing team. I figure they're going to open up. Thank you very much. Okay, Mel, you about ready to get the second half underway? Yes, I think the halftime show's about over, and we'll be ready to go here in a couple minutes. Gentlemen, thank you very kindly for coming over. We'll see you see at the end of the ball game. Thanks. And back to Doc Williams. Thanks a lot, Al. These halftime activities from Logan Field have come to you through the courtesy of the Akron Labor Council, AFL-CIO, Mr. Leo E. Dugan, the Executive Secretary. There are some 60 locals that comprise the Akron Labor Council and some 60,000 members. We'll be back for another game next week, that old Thanksgiving turkey game. Now back to our good friend, Jerry Healy.